Hey guys, Don here. Hopefully you're doing well. As you can tell, we'll be cutting lawns in probably about a week or two. So, um, it's March. Everybody's starting to post. All my friends are starting to post uh, videos about their cuts starting this week. But I'm getting a little anxious. Um, getting excited. We're still a month away, at least, from cuts. But hopefully if it starts to melt, we'll get some uh, spring cleanups done in maybe a month. But full-time regular cuts won't start for at least six to seven weeks i'd say and that's if we're lucky we don't usually start cutting um, properties regularly until june typically so anyways um 30 inch toro time master um i guess a little backstory of this i picked this one up off of facebook marketplace um probably about a year and a half ago now i actually have two of them one is kind of sat beside my garage it's kind of a backup it has an electric start but the battery was dead that one the other one doesn't have a bag uh this one became our my primary uh lawnmower though um we only cut residential properties but the 30 inch mower was basically a, a game changer if, if you've ever cut lawns with a 22 inch or 21 inch sorry um and then stepped up to a 30 inch mower the difference is is amazing um it's been a really good mower no real issues with it had some issue, I guess the only issue we really have had was one of the belts last year did uh, start to slip a couple times and it did fall off once or twice. So I do have another belt for that. So we will be replacing that. But today's video, I just kind of wanted to give it a once over, kind of decide um, what I wanted to do to it, make sure I kind of have the parts for it um, and then go from there. So I think what I might do is quickly check the oil and then um, I might just do a startup video just to see if it uh, will start up. Let's see. I'm probably not great. So yeah, it does have gas in it. So that's perfect. It's probably gone bad by now, but it's great. It'll be fine. And then oil. Just, yep, definitely has some. It's black. So that's perfect as well. So good start. Anyways. Uh, I knew the oil would have to be changed. Um, this does have a fuel filter on it. So I'll probably order a new one of those just to replace that. Um, I'm hoping to not have to take the carb off to clean it. But considering I have old gas in it, I might need to. We'll see if it starts up all right. And then fuel f or uh, air filter. Looks great as well. So we'll probably need to order a new one of those, the very minimum. Blow that one out. So let's, um, what should we do here? Let me just put you in a stand and let's see if we can uh, fire this thing up. One sec. Let's see if it'll fire up. No, I don't have to start that like that. I feel like I'm missing something here, guys. I don't have to hold. It's not like a traditional mower where you have to hold it down. This is just the blade engage, and that's the pace thing. Uh, did it have much gas? I know I showed it to you guys, but I didn't really take a look. Should have enough to start. Let's just throw some starter fluid in the box here. Throw some down the carb and see if that'll help. That helps. Yeah. 
sounds pretty good actually. It doesn't sound like it's surging or anything, which would be my concern with a uh, carb that's been sitting for a while, but no smoke or anything too, which is good. Sounds pretty good considering it's been sitting for five months, five, six months. So, um, this is probably going to be a short video just because I don't really have a ton of stuff, but let's talk about what we need to do again. So blades I need to sharpen those. I have a couple sets. I might get one more just so I can kind of alternate through them. Um, I'm not sure exactly my plan for this year in terms of how many yards I'm going to have, um, for the season, but if I can get maybe one more set there are two on here let's tip it up here two blades that one looks a little rough down at the end but i not need blades but definitely good sharpen make sure i have the two blades or two sets ready to go um air filter what I might do is get another one and then just have a spare one and then I can kind of cycle through them once, you know, every couple weeks kind of thing. So air filter, blades, um, definitely change the oil. I, I don't think, I pulled the spark plug off of this for something. I can't remember if I replaced the spark plug or if I got a new spark plug this one or if I just put it back in so I need to double check that but I'll probably just order another one just to have one slash replace it oil um, definitely run the gas kind of through and give it a good cleaning I guess but other than that guys it's a pretty good unit I think you guys want me to sew but I might need to do a little of that could be a fun little video Dependable Dawn sewing techniques. Anyways, guys, like I said, um, this will be a short video. I am going to do a longer video on the Toro Time Master. I mentioned it uh, last week or the week before, I can't remember, but I did, I do have another one of these that's kind of sitting beside my garage and that needs a bit more work so we can really dive into that one probably, but this one's in pretty decent shape, but um, yeah. So let me, I'm going to order those parts this week, hopefully or next couple days and then hopefully by next week we'll have the parts in and we can uh, dive into this one anyways guys short video this week but uh part one of the toro time master kind of tune up um giving it a once over before the season starts anyways guys have a good one bye